cancer is generally something that can be treated. In almost all circumstances, we have the ability to prolong life and reduce suffering, but that's not enough. Where our goal here is to try to cure cancers and eliminate cancer or prevent it. Hey, how are you? Uh, hi, John. Good to see you, man. Yeah. I came to Seattle in uh, early 1990s and uh, worked in the development of the reduced intensity transplant. And uh, w what we learned in that is that the immune system of the donor was really the key to eradicating the malignancy. So what that taught us was that the cellular immune system was really very, very powerful. And then the question is, well, how can we modify the cells to make it a little easier? Uh, transplants are very effective, but they're also quite toxic. They have the risk of graft-versus-host disease. And uh, uh, Don Thomas here at the Hutchison Center got the Nobel Prize for figuring out how to do this. And, and we learned a lot over the years, but still it's a, it's a fairly complicated process. And the future is to develop better therapies that are more targeted for the patient, that have less toxic side effects, and that are really more specifically going after the cancer and not causing a lot of collateral damage. So those are all better? Uh, for a little... I haven't felt them for a while, right? No. Okay. Anyway, hey, let's have you lay back down for a We can now take uh, T cells from a patient and we can modify them with a receptor that's actually based on an antibody. And uh, this creates something called a chimeric antigen receptor. And we can gene modify a patient's own T cells and make them attack their cancer. And so this has turned out to be uh, remarkably effective even in cases where uh, cancer is, uh, the cancer is very advanced and has failed every known therapy, including bone marrow transplants. And why is that an advantage? Well, this is a living therapy. These cells expand in the patient, they persist, they can attack uh, the cancer, and they can replicate. And in fact, one of the biggest problems we have is that they're too good. They can actually attack the cancer in a, in a very aggressive fashion and, and, and get rid of the malignancy within weeks. And so that, we have to be careful with that. That can lead to toxicity. And so we're still learning about the doses that are safe and how to effectively use this treatment. All right. Looking good. OK? Yeah. All right. And that's what immunotherapy is all about. It's, it's using your immune system, which is incredibly potent and, and able to distinguish minute differences between a cancer cell and a normal cell. And so if we can, if we can get that immune system actually revved up, and not blocked by the cancer and able to get rid of the malignancy, then the future is very, very bright.